Fred and Sheila McCoy, Hatfield McCoy Museum, fredmccoy.com, Hatfields McCoy's Museum.com. Same website, just takes you to different pages. Uh, go to the top of the page and click on museum or whatever you want to from there. Um, <clears throat> this is going to be another short video. This, uh, we done a story a while back on Shep Hatfield. That was uh, Cap Hatfield's son. And uh, that was the one that was starved to death, that was, mm -hmm. died of malnutrition. And we done a story on it, a short story. Um, we were real tired that day and I made several videos and uh, we did, We should have elaborated on it more, but anyway, Cap, uh, while Cap was on the run out west, him and John C., uh, after Jim Vance had been killed, uh, Cap's uh, family was left to fend for themselves, more or less. And uh, Devil Lance felt hard at Cap because Cap, everybody up and left him, and he felt unprotected because, of course, Jim Vance had been killed at that time. So um, uh, the, the Coleman C.'s father, uh, Coleman A. Hatfield, had told his uh, son, Coleman C., about his uh, brother, brother, Shep, starving to death and dying of malnutrition. Now, <clears throat> been a lot of controversy over this over the years where uh, uh, people in private emails and messages says they couldn't believe that he'd done it, you know, but if he did, it's the worst thing he ever did and so forth. But yet they make their Hatfield McCoy books and they'll say, Devil Ant's never done that. He wouldn't have starved nobody to death. I don't think Devil Ant's starved the boy to death. I think what Coleman C. meant I think, now, uh, without going into a, keeping a real segment and having to correct myself, let me reiterate, I'm thinking that what happened there, what, that Devil Ants felt hard at Cap for leaving him, and I don't think that he put out any extra effort to help take care of his family, thinking, well, if you want to take care of your family, you should be here taking care of them. And uh, I don't, I think the boy probably starved to death, but, you know, uh, he probably didn't pay that much attention to it. This video here, I don't think we covered it in the video with uh, Shep, of course, is buried on Devil Ants' uh, cemetery. That's mm -hmm. probably one of the first graves that was up there. Uh, that De When Devil Ants decided to make it a cemetery, that's he hadn't lived on Holland Creek that long. Uh, so uh, Shep's grave is right over in front of Devil Ants' big monument. Uh, it's where his little grave is. And, uh, but, where, where's Cap Hatfield? Where's Cap Hatfield buried? A lot of people don't know where Cap Hatfield's buried, <clears throat> but it's not on the Hatfield Cemetery with Devil Ants. It's not mm -hmm. on the Hatfield Family Cemetery at Sarah Ann or at Ellison Hatfields at, at Newtown. Uh, Cap is buried on up the road uh, from the Hatfield Family Cemetery. In fact, if you're at Cap's Bridge, where Cap's old bridge and the old home place used to be. If you're facing the bridge right here, there's the bridge in front of me. Look up on this hill right here to the left, and up on that hill is where Cap's grave actually is. You have to go down the road to the next bridge mm -hmm. and go in, and you can get permission from them people in that back trailer, and they'll let you go up there and, and look at it, or they usually do. Um, always when I go to these places, Sheila and I, we, we like to give these people, especially when it's on private property like that, <clears throat> we like to drop some good money in the bucket because that's that's awful nice of them. Not everybody lets you go see uh, these uh, places uh, like you would want to see. And uh, the guy that was here earlier today at the museum, he, he come from Louisiana. Again, he travels around. He's a, he's a, a nomad, more or less. He's retired. His wife's deceased, and he goes everywhere. But... Um, he was asking. He was asking about the uh, McCoy Cemetery back home. That's off limits. He was wanting to visit it, and I told him. I said, "There's no better person than John Vance. John Vance will give you shirt off his back, but don't try to take it." And he said, "Well, why has he got it off limits?" I said, "He's got it off limits because a McCoy come in here from North Carolina, not even uh, from here, and uh, he got influenced by other people that was wanting to make that a public." site where they could run a bus to it. He got influenced by them and he filed a lawsuit, more or less on their behalf, but with his name. And John Vance didn't like that. How would you like it if somebody come and tried to take your property? 
And he said, I wouldn't like it. And I said, exactly. And John didn't like it neither. Up to that point, nobody ever had a problem going to that cemetery until they tried to tell John what he was going to do with his property. Uh, and I felt sorry for this guy because he wanted so badly to go visit that monument, <clears throat> but it's off limits. Yeah. And there's no doubt he would have paid and there's no doubt that he would have appreciated it. And there's no doubt that John Vance, once upon a time, <laughs> would not have said, go ahead, buddy. Go ahead and go look. Where are you from? How are you doing? And, t and start telling stories. That's the way he done me and Sheila. Told Sheila and I mm -hmm. several stories about his great-grandfather. Interesting stories. And I think they were as true as, as the man knew them to be. So, uh, once again, sometimes uh, these people... Uh, that uh, don't allow you to be on their property. It's not from being mean. It's just from other things that's caused it. But if they do allow you to go, try to compensate them a little bit. Um, but Cap is actually buried on a different cemetery. Now, we may have talked about it once before where Cap, <clears throat> there was a story on one of these videos. If we haven't talked about it, we will because it's in our notes. And one of these uh, other YouTubers, she made the comment that Devil Ants, I'm sorry, it was the gentleman that made the comment. And he said Devil Ants uh, wouldn't allow Cap to be buried on his cemetery. He didn't want Cap on the family cemetery. That couldn't be farther from the truth. Could not be farther from the truth. Cap is the one that made the decision not to be buried on the Hatfield Cemetery. Cap didn't die till what was it, 1938? I'm not sure. Don't. Don't quote me on that. Died of a brain tumor in 1938 uh, at a hospital up in uh, Baltimore or somewhere, I think it was. He, he had a bad brain tumor. But anyway, uh, so he, he, between 21 and 1938, if I'm correct on that date, he had plenty of time there to make amends with uh, Levice or whoever if he wanted to be buried on that cemetery. It was not Cap's choice. <clears throat> it was not Devil Lance's choice for Cap not to be buried there. On, unlike what was said in that last video I watched of this gentleman. It was Cap's decision to be buried away from his father. He still had hard feelings against his father for the way he let his son, or he felt that Devil Ants had let his son starve to death while he was out west. Uh, I said it was going to be a short video. It's not really that short, but most of mine never are. Thanks for joining us. It's Fred. Sheila, you got anything? No, no, you're doing good. I'm just back there filming. I'm not hateful, am I? No, you're doing good. Uh, it's Fred and Sheila McCoy. Thanks for joining us. And please, for Sheila's, she gets a, she's smiling right now. <laughs> she gets a joy every time somebody subscribes. Yeah. She likes that. So if you would, subscribe to her channel. And, and again, eventually, she's going to get all new material. Once I get through with, with some of these old stories and, and probably mm -hmm. controversial stories. Mm -hmm. Every story she's going to do is not going to be controversial like the ones I do. Uh, so, okay. but these are stories that I want to do, that I want to have out there someday, and that they'll they'll be there for somebody that wants right. to, to see them. So, thanks for joining us. See you next time. Thank you.